fucking hell, you're loud. Sorry. Who the fuck are you? What's your name, sir? Will. Will, would you do well? Nothing impressive. That's it, fucking typical. <laughs> well, do it quietly, Will. <laughs> anyway, hey, it's good to be out. Hello, Chelmsford! Hello! Fuck. <laughs> Let's start with the question. I think we should be more caring. I say this because um, I was on the train and I've got some new announcements on the trains. One of which is please do not encourage beggars. No, I think that's kind of a shame you can't go up to one and say, go on, go back to college. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about the riots earlier on and the looting. There wasn't any looting here, was there? No looting, no. I did a bit of looting. <laughs> oh yeah. I looted Argos. I still have to fill in one of those little forms. <laughs> it's like, come on, I'll do some looting, bastards. I want to know when a, when a, when a protester becomes a looter. I, bl <laughs> I blame Comet and their fucking window displays. I think, because people are walking out, peace, 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 fuck me. Have you seen those plasma TVs? They're fucking too good to be true. Bastard, get in there. There were none there when I got there, fucking right. But uh, I was in a terrible state, and uh, this is how bad the world's got. I was on the way to my local library at the weekend, and they closed that because there was a bomb scare. And I thought, what kind of fucking nutcase bombs a library? What are we talking now, radical dyslexics? <laughs> and I thought there'd be a library and a bomb scare, and they actually cleared the library, it was like, shh. <laughs> Because there's never been a bomb in a swimming pool. Or is there? Not one fucking bomb in a swimming pool. It's about those signs up for years, haven't they? <laughs> you know the ones we need. No bombing. It's been 100% success rates. Not one fucking bomb. Uh, my favourite news story of the year was the um, shooting of um, Osama bin Laden. Um, whose favourite news story was that? Me. No, okay. <laughs> I liked it because it, it, what happened was, and this is a lesson, is anybody here on the run from the police? <laughs> Come on, this is Essex. What the fuck? You look like a crime lord, sir. You really do. I don't know, I'm a really bad boy band manager. Sack the fucking lot, get some good looking ones. <laughs> Are you an underworld boss, sir? Are you, <laughs> Are you an underworld boss? No, what do you do for a living? No, no go on, go on, do, uh, tell us now, we want to know, don't we? Banking. <sighs> Fuck off. <laughs> What's I talking about? No, if you're on the run, because I'm out of God, you're Essex. Not something that's not been done. What he did was to, to, because he lived around, the, it didn't turn out he lived right around the fucking corner from an army complex, and he looked exactly the same as he did, didn't he? He didn't change his appearance at all. And that's a lesson to anybody here on the run. Don't change your appearance, it gives you away. Because I think, I reckon there must have been soldiers walking past him in Tesco's, the Sama, going, Oh, fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? They did, didn't they? They walked past him and went, fuck off. No, it couldn't have been. Nobody could be that brazen. Because he looked like that all the time. <laughs> that was a new joke. <laughs> I hate the internet, though. Who hates the internet? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate the internet. Because you can do something for years, right? And get nowhere. And then somebody comes along, does it on the internet. Fucking world fame. I've been throwing cats in bins for fucking years. <laughs> fucking nothing. <laughs> bit of cat, bit of bitch. I'm not from around here. Well, I'm kind of from around here. I'm from the Fens. I'm from East Anglia. Um, and um, as we know, we know East Anglia, don't we? We were aware of its work. Um, it's flat, that's the thing, that's the, that's the main thing you need to know, it's flat, and that, and when I was a kid, that grew me a love of hills. It did. I fucking love a good hill now, don't you love a good hill? Don't you love a good hill? They're fucking brilliant. 
And that got to a point where I was a kid and we'd be sat around in a class looking at a picture of Jesus on the cross. And all the other kids would be going, oh, it's not awful. I'd be thinking, well, at least he's on a hill. <laughs> at least he's got a few. I like Jesus, don't you, sir? No, no fucking bankers. <laughs> I like, I like the stories, my favourite story is when Jesus turned the water into wine at the wedding and everybody was happy. I think it'd be great to be at that wedding if you actually wanted wine, but what if you still wanted water? You'd be fucked off, wouldn't you? You'd be like, yeah, thanks a lot, Jesus, I'm driving later. Why are you being stopped on the way home? Yeah, I know, officer, I'm over the limit. I wanted water. And then his bearded can show up. <laughs> I, I, I fucking love it. The police are great though, aren't they? Aren't they? No. no. <laughs> See, there was one on the run. <laughs> no, the police are great. Last year they were going to go on strike. They were going to go on strike. They were going to strike because they threatened the police with performance related pay. And they didn't want that. But I think the police should have performance related pay. Because that's what criminals are on. <laughs> uh, when's the Avatar? Yeah, 3D film, sat there in the cinema with 3D glasses on. I thought, what would happen if I put another pair of glasses on top of this pair of glasses? It was great. I could see time. <laughs> I love a good war film as well. I've seen so many war films now, I actually remember the war. I do. I sit around me and my granddad, my uncle going, remember when me, you and Matt Damon <laughs> oh, remember when we stormed that beach? Uh, um, it's holiday time. I like to go down to the West Country, don't you, sir? No, fucking. <laughs> fucking bankers. <laughs> I do, I do, because I'm a big fan of sharks. I love sharks. Don't we love the sharks? They're fucking fantastic. This is great. I was looking at it. Was, fuck off. Who was this? Boy band number one. <laughs> um, uh, uh, fuck off. Sharks. That was what I was doing. Um, I love them. I love them. This, uh, this is true though, because I've done my research. There's 22 different types of shark in British waters. And then I was trying to work out why there's not more shark attacks. Because there's 22 different types of shark. And then I thought about it and I thought, I've seen the British summertime beach. And I fucking wouldn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think the shark's poking his head above the water and going, do you know what? I'm not fucking hungry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to the Seychelles. <laughs> See? I updated that joke today. <laughs> That'd be ironic to, to, for the shark to go all the way to avoiding eating British people. <laughs> Them to get to the Seychelles and go, oh fuck! He <laughs> was from Chelmsford. <laughs> no, there's a lot of rubbish talked about sharks. Like if you're in the water and the shark comes towards you, you're supposed to whack it on the nose and the shark goes away. This is nonsense. As found out by my uncle who was in the war, his ship sank there, he was in the water, the shark came towards him. He whacked it on the nose, the shark went away and got his mates. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, it's summer. Are we enjoying the summer? <laughs> I like a good summer sport. I like a bit of horse racing. It's my favourite sport. Uh, my favourite thing in horse racing. You know when a horse throws its rider? You know that thing? You know when he throws its rider then carries on running anyway? I fucking love that, don't you? Yeah, I fucking do. Because they usually win, don't they? Because they've lost the weight of the rider. And then they're fucking off that fucking animal weight now. Oh, I've lost the weight of the rider. I'm fucking away. I win, I win. I'm over that. I've won, I've won. What do you mean? What do you mean you need a rider? It's a fucking horse race. <laughs> and I say absolutely right, what do the jockeys do anyway? They're like, run faster, run faster, jump, run faster. And the horse is like, yeah, I know. I'm a fucking horse. <laughs> you don't go see greyhounds little riders, do you? <laughs> greyhounds little cats on the back. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a horse though, this is my plan to get rich. Is that I'm gonna buy a horse and call it Dave. I think, because everybody does, don't they? When we're, pick, when we're picking a horse for the Grand National, because we know fuck all about horses, 
We just put it down, down the list there and we go, Oh, is there a horse called House? I live in a house. It's bound to win. Oh, it's a horse called Mum. I've got a mum. It's bound to win. There's a horse, Gonorrhea. I've got... Oh, shit. I'm going to call it Dave, because everybody knows a Dave, don't they? They're going, Dave, Dave, there's a Dave bound Dave. And then when it falls over and his shoes is dead, and you can just say, well, you know what Dave's like. <laughs> uh, I'm finish with this. <laughs> this is true, actually. Um, there's, there's, I found out through the, through the looting and the trouble in London, because I live in London, um, I found out that rioting and writing sound the same over the phone to your mum. Uh, she, she rang me up and said, what are you doing? I was like, I'm just doing a bit of writing. Fuck! <laughs> I like to think, though, that it happened the other way as well to some hoodie. His <laughs> mum rang him up. What are you doing? A bit of writing. Oh, that's nice, love. <laughs> Oh, I knew he'd turn his life around. <laughs> Writing his essays. Anyway, that's, that's me done. You've been fantastic. And uh, Labrador. Oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, cheers. That's all.